Hey guys, MJ here from Nightcore Singapore. Today we're going to look at the new Nightcore P10 iX. All right, how it stacks up against other similar lights and the five reasons that make this the perfect compact floodlight for law enforcement and everyday use. All right, so before we begin, if you want to win this latest P10 iX, make sure you subscribe to this channel and comment below on how this P10 iX will help you in the kind of work that you do. So once we hit 500 likes, I'll reply to the winning comment directly below. Okay, so let's start with the biggest question. What's the difference between the P10 iX and the P20 iX? Alright, they are both 4000 lumen floodlights and they came out within a few months of each other. Specs and controls, they are similar, right? The only difference is the bezel area. This is the P20 iX with the bezel. Alright, you can see the hardened stainless steel bezel with glass breaking beads here. Alright, then we got the P10 iX, okay? It is smaller at 25 mm. Alright, the P10 iX gave up the hard hitting head for a slim, low profile 25 mm bezel. Right, that means it sits closer to your body, right? And it's less likely to snag on anything while you're moving. Okay, let's look at the difference between the holsters. All right, this is the P20 iX holster and this is the P10 iX holster. So if you like slim, go with the P10 iX. If you don't mind the bulk, right, then you can go for the P20 iX. All right, then what about the P10i and the P20i, right? You got a P20i and you got a P20iX. Those without the X are medium range beams, right? Meaning they shine up to 300 meters. So it's perfect for use with a firearm. The beam pattern is perfectly crafted, so it's easier for you to acquire targets down range, right? The X versions, right? These are flat beams. So meaning at the same 1800 lumen brightness, it reaches only 100 meters, right? A third the distance of this medium range models. So instead of focusing the light into a cone and pushing it out at a specific area like the P10i, the P10i X spreads the light out evenly. Right, so you can see it's clearly a flat light. If you put it down on a table like this, you can see that this is the P10i X, right? A very smooth flat beam. This is the P10i, right? It's very clearly a spotlight. This kind of beam is perfect for say lighting up a huge uh, five-story warehouse space all at once, right? It's for you to light up the whole place. So is the P10iX an upgrade to the P10i, right? No, it's not. They give you very different beam patterns, all right? So you can kind of see this as a rifle, right? To hit far, precise, targeted, right? Then this would be a shotgun, all right? Not effective at long distance, but up close it completely dominates, hitting everything at once. Right, and it does it better than any light that has come before it and I'll show you exactly why. So how is it so dominant at close range, right? The first reason is because of its quad array LED, right? You can see there are four LEDs in here compared to the P10i which only has one LED. So when it comes to sheer overwhelming brightness, this has four times the power at exactly the same size, right? Same bezel size. So the quad array LED originally appeared on the E4K which is this model here, okay? This is the very early E4K, you see the quad array LED? Exactly the same. So it was made for camping industrial users, you know, but a lot of technical users were trying to use it as well because of its powerful flood pattern, right? They found it way more effective in team ops, where once they cleared a crime scene, they could table stand the E4K like this, right? And it hits the ceiling and lights up the whole room. So the entire team can work faster sorting through evidence compared to everyone, you know, holding their little flashlight and trying to work things with one handed, right? It was a great replacement for those big heavy construction light stands. But the problem with the E4K, it did not have the right controls for tactical use, right? There's nothing at the back. All the controls are on the front, so I have to hold it this way, right? Instead of this way. Because of that, the i4000R came next. This is the i4000R, right? The same quad array LED, but now you have rear tactical controls, which open up even more use cases for security and police users all over the world. Now they could hammer fist it and then they have it with a firearm. Now the good thing about a flat light, the beam covers a huge area. So if you're on the receiving end of it, even if you're looking straight ahead, right, you will still be blinded from the side. So here's an example of the P10 iX, right? So I'm literally pointing the light straight ahead, but you at a 45 degree, you still get blinded, right? Look, right, right here's how it gets blinded. Compared to the P10i, which is a non flat light. See, I have to point straight. You did not get the glare effect until I turn. And here, right, you can see where the beam cuts into your eyes. Right, I have to almost point it at your face for you to receive the glare effect. And if you were to compare it with a spotlight beam like this P30, right, the difference is even greater. Look at how tight the spot is compared with a P10. 
P10RX very very floody. So imagine if you have to use this to blind someone, I literally have to point the light right at the camera lens for you to get blinded. Right in a real life up close scenario, this is very difficult light to use for self defense. So you might be wondering, what if I don't need it for self defense? So when will I ever need a flood light? Right, a perfect example would be this uh, story from a police officer that just bought the P20iX with his own money because he wanted to have a better floodlight. They will issue standard searchlights that look like this, right, a very tight spot. Right, then in less than two weeks after he got the P20iX floodlight, he responded to a train derailment at 2 a.m. and he used it to help survey the situation better than anyone else. Right, because if you were if you were armed with a searchlight up close, you can only light up specific circles. So let's take for example the rear. So if, if you want to look at something, I have to point there and then it lights up that space. Right? It's not so efficient in surveying big areas. Whereas if you had a flat light, all you gotta do is point, right? increase the brightness and bam, you got the whole place light up. You can survey the entire place all at once. So in a derailment or let's say a building collapse scenario where you need to survey everything and see how you can approach the rescue or clear the debris safely, you need a flat light. So P10 IX. P10i, P10iX, P10i. Alright, see the difference? Very clear. Spotlight, flat light. Look at the surrounding area in front. P10i, P10iX. So that's why you realize in the train derailment scenario, right? The iX works very well because you can cover a big area all at once. Okay, so here's how it works. The big button at the back controls on and off. Right, the mode button gives you strobe here. Okay, now strobe ready and strobe mode are two different things. The MH12S here might have strobe mode, but to access it, you have to turn it on and then you turn it to the front and you press and hold to get it. Right, so this is breaking the rule of one handed operation. Right, you need two hands to operate. On the P10iX, all you gotta do is press the strobe ready switch here bam and you immediately have 4000 lumen strobe all right there's no twisting or cycling from off bam and 4000 lumen strobe and then you're done so then you might ask why do i need strobe ready for right from off straight away strobe why as one operator puts it it draws 100 percent attention of anyone you point it at because of how distracting and different it is Right, especially for drivers from the rear view mirror or side window, if you point at them on just turbo, right, it looks like a high beam from another car. But if you strobe them, it looks different and they have to look. So it's this visual shock that helps you either get their attention or give you that split second to take action. Right, so a great example of taking action is this story from one of our local paramedic. Right, he was attending to a drunk person, then the drunk person tried to attack and touch one of the female paramedics. So he stroked the drunk guy for P10. The guy puked and was blinded long enough for another paramedic to pin him down until the police arrived to take over. Right, so this is a true story and that was with a 800 lumen stroke. Imagine what will happen with a 4000 lumen stroke from the P10iX. When the light is on, you use the same stroke switch to change brightness here. Tap low, medium, high, single control. Okay. Now the way you can use it can be customized to fit your work. There are two main modes, the daily mode and tactical mode. So what's the difference? On daily mode, which comes standard out of the box, if you use a lower brightness, let's say really low for reading, you turn it off and you on again, you'll remember that same brightness. So if you're working up close throughout the night, you won't get blinded every time you turn on the light. Right? So you can have it at ultra low, let's say 50 lumens like this, which is the same brightness as most handphone lights. This lasts 38 hours, good for map reading and up close work. So when you hear a noise in the distance, you can go turbo, check, nothing wrong, let go and go back to what you're doing. The tactical mode on the other hand works very differently and will not remember what mode you left it in. So here's how to change modes. First you turn on the light, press and hold the mode switch. Once it's down, loosen the tail cap. You see it blink twice. Now you're in tactical mode. As long as you mash the button, it will always go on at full 4000 lumen. This was never possible with the older E4K and the i4000R. These older models you have to press and hold to access 4000 lumens. With the P10iX, you can go from zero to full in one click and it stays here. Right, you can even do silent signaling, room clearing with 4000 lumens. That's an incredible upgrade over any other light on the market today. There's also no brightness memory in this tactical mode. So if I change it to low, right, low, 
I turn it off and I on again, it will always go to turbo. This feature was requested by the technical guys because they cannot afford to have your light turn on at the wrong mode at the wrong time. So no matter how stressful the situation is, as long as you mash the button, it will come on at max brightness. So it doesn't matter if you are a civilian or operator, this light can work in your favour. Just choose the right mode and you can get the best of both worlds with this light. So some of you might ask, how long does this stay on 4000 lumens before it steps down due to heat? It's around 40 seconds before it slowly steps down to 850 lumens. And this is to prevent damage from overheating. Now, 40 seconds might sound short, right? But in reality, if you use it in bursts, right, it's more than enough to get you out of a sticky situation. So how do I carry the light? The P10iX comes with this NTH10 quick draw holster. Alright, let's pop it in this way. Now it's all about deployment speed now. Alright, compared to older nylon pouches like this, if you want to draw the light, you have to peel, which makes a lot of noise, pull out the light and use it. Right, then this one you have to put it back this way. Then if you want to put back the light, you gotta peel, find the slot on your belt, push it back in, then close. Okay, on the quick draw holster, you just pop it up, use it. Once you're done, pop it back in, and you're set. All right, you see the difference? So you can buy the optional NTR10 ring as well, which looks like this. There are three slots to put it in, depending on where you want it. So I'm gonna just put it on the top notch, push it in, there, okay? It also does work with the holster. The whole thing goes in like this. Okay, now you you can draw it even faster. Up, and then go. Okay, so what's so good about this ring is that it helps in flashlight retention. The older way of doing retention was by these uh, stretchable lanyards. For standard patrols, it can still work to stop you from losing your light as you run and tumble through obstacles. But when you get into a scuffle, right, the lanyard can be used against you. Right, there was a real life case on how a criminal almost strangled an officer with his own retention cable. So that's why we're leaning towards this kind of rings for retention now. All right, the bottom of the holster is also open, okay? So you can have the light on and you can shoulder mount this and you can still point it downwards. All right, so one of the guys mounted it on one of his car's uh, visor. So he could flash it at people while driving to warn people walking along the road at night. Additional accessories include the NTW25, which converts your light into a 4,000 lumen traffic one. All right, look at that. Whew. <laughs> right? Then if you want to tail stand this, you can put it on your holster. There, and some of the guys use this to wear it on their body on the back for incredibly bright safety. Okay? Because it's 25mm, it also fits all 25mm color filters like this NFR25. Right? So if you need, uh, say, red light, blue, green, they're all available. Okay? Since it's already a flat light, you don't need the diffuser. If you prefer another quick draw option that can be mounted sideways, right, you can go with this NCP30 Mole holster. Right, there are Mole straps at the back, you can mount it up or sideways, okay? Elastic band here that holds the light in place. All right, there, this way in. Now, the reason why it has such incredible runtime is the 21700i series batteries. All right, so if you haven't seen this before, this is how it looks like compared to a double A batteries, okay, really big, and that's what gives it all the punch and power it needs, okay? Now, these are exclusive to Nightcore because compared to normal 21700 batteries, like the ones in the MH12S, right, you can see this is a normal 21700. This is the i-series 21700. You got an extra ring here. Now, the normal battery gives you 45 minutes on 1,800 lumens. With the i-series battery on a P10iX, you get two hours, all right? Same capacity, same brightness, three times the runtime because of how efficiently they have designed the circuit of the light to work with the battery. Right, you can charge the battery via the built-in USB-C port here. Right, just pop it open, you can charge it through your vehicle or laptop or via power bank as well. Okay, it takes around 3 hours 45 minutes to fully charge the included 5000 mAh battery, which is incredibly fast. Older built-in chargers like the i4000R, these kind on the back, takes about 6 to 8 hours to fully charge. If you want to charge it even faster, you can use external chargers like the UMS2, UMS4 or the F21i external fast charger. So these can charge as fast as 90 minutes. If your organization still uses CR123 batteries, you can run the light with this included battery magazine like this. 
So note that this light is not compatible with any 1.650 or normal 21700 batteries. You can only use the Nightcore 21700 i series batteries. If you're wondering if it's waterproof, yes, it is waterproof down to 2 meters. Here's how it looks like. The USB cover is really deep and it gives a complete seal against water, dust and dirt, right? So you're what you're looking for are bubbles coming up. So if you see that there are no bubbles coming up, it is a complete seal. Right, you can even change brightness levels underwater. Right? Low, medium, high, and turbo. Oops, and strobe as well. Alright, no problem at all. So that's it, the five key things that makes this the perfect floodlight for law enforcement and everyday use. Right, the quad array LED, right? One handed operation, strobe ready capability of strobe ready. Slim profile and extreme runtime 21700 batteries, alright? So do you need a floodlight? Right, if you find yourself working at distances of more than 50M, then a P10i or longer beam light will be more suitable for you. But if you know that you always work within 50 meters or in up close situation, then there is nothing more dominating than this P10iX, alright? It beats out every other floodlight before it except the P20iX, right, but it's just bigger. And it will hold its place for many years to come because of its incredible build quality, right? So there's no rattling or shaking or you know, any kind of funny sounds. Everything is built solid and very, very tight, okay? So don't put your personal safety on the wrong flashlight, right? Know your working distance, pick the right light and you'll be far more effective. So these are all in stock now at nightcalllights.com. It's 199 Singapore dollars for the P10iX. And if you buy online from us, we also throw in two of the most useful items to complement your new floodlight. Right, the ultra fast USB C portable charger. Right, not only does it double as a power bank for your other devices, it also doubles your runtime with the P10iX because there's an included 5000 mAh battery in here. Right, this is $79, you'll get it free. Next is the Tiki LE, right? 300 lumens out the front. It also has a red blue blinker. Right, guess how it looks like. 300 lumens out the front. Go one, two, three. Right, this is red light. Then you got blue light and you got red blue. Right, this is perfect to have when you're on or off duty or as just a backup. So this is $39, you'll get it free. If you buy everything outside, it's $317. But you get it now for just $199 when you order direct from us today. Right, you can also go for a 3 month installment, so there's literally no excuse to take advantage of this incredible offer. They are all in stock now, and if you need to buy in bulk for your organization, just contact me directly and I'll be able to work out a deal for you. Okay, as usual, these do sell out fast, so order yours today. Once your order is placed, we'll courier everything to your door within a couple of days. Link to order is in the description below. As usual, this comes with a 60 day money back guarantee and fast free 3 year warranty, so there's no risk at all. Alright, that's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this where we help you choose the best lights for your work, adventures, subscribe below and I will see you on the next video. Alright, MJ signing out.